back, everyone. We are here live in the Birdland neighborhood, and there is work still happening all around me. Technically, it is lunchtime, but these ladies right here are warriors, and they are not giving up yet. Uh, so we are here now with Daisy Lanuti, who is a volunteer with Habitat, but also has uh, kind of has become a member of the staff. So first of all, Daisy, tell me what you do here for Habitat for Humanity. Yes, I am a volunteer coordinator here at Greater Des Moines Habitat for Humanity. So it's super awesome experience because I get to work every day with the volunteers. So engaging them, bringing them together, showing my passion to them and kind of hyping them up before they get to start building for the day. Okay, so here's the coolest part about Daisy. Daisy grew up in a Habitat home. So Daisy, talk to me about your experience, how that happened with you and your mom in that Habitat home and then how you got, uh, how you got here. Yes, definitely. So I am a partner family is what we call our families and my family went through the whole process that is still the process today and this was about 10 years ago when we went through it in St. Charles, Illinois. Um, so a super awesome experience. We did our 400 volunteer hours um, with standing by the volunteers. So super awesome. I was very young so I couldn't volunteer on site but a lot of the other volunteers would bring their children for my mom, for me and my sister. So it was super awesome like engaging and getting to know everybody. It was great. So talk to me about what the Habitat Home did for you and your family and how you benefited from it. Yeah, so we have a saying here, um, we're not a hand out, we're a hand up. And my family really feels that in our heart because it was a huge hand up. We were living very close to the city and we got moved to the suburbs. So for me, that meant education. And that's one of the biggest things to me still to this day is I got a much better education and I was able to move to Iowa and go to college. So better resources in the suburbs, different things like that. So it was a huge hand up to my entire family. So for those people who are sitting at home who are watching this interview, what do you want them to know? about how much of an impact Habitat has on the communities that they're involved in. Yes, definitely. Um, the biggest thing to remember is come out and volunteer. Um, we need as much help as we can get. You guys are what's making this house affordable for our families. So it's really important to engage in your communities, get to know um, the partner families, get to know other people in the communities, and just come out and have a lot of fun. Learn something new, and then take it home and work on your house at home as well. So, Daisy, thank you very much. We really appreciate you being here. And again, we are here for Founders Day. This is all part of a, a volunteer opportunity for everyone with local five and we are not finished yet coming up in just a few minutes we are going to talk to the executive director of greater des moines habitat for humanity so stick with us everyone you're watching local five news midday we'll be right back